Hello, my name is Michael Gonda. I am a Senior Solutions Architect for Expedient. And over the course of the next two videos, we're going to discuss Expedient's host-to-host -host virtual server replication products in more detail. In this video, we will provide a high-level overview of Expedient, we will discuss some industry standard terms around disaster recovery, and we will present a brief overview of Expedient's host-to-host -host virtual server replication product. In the next video, we will provide an actual demonstration of our host-to-host -host solution. To start, let's provide a quick overview of Expedient. We have 11 data centers in seven markets, and we provide many services for our customers from public, private, and hybrid cloud solutions, traditional physical co-location options, to managed services such as operating system break, fix, and patching, cloud storage, managed backups, and high-performance SAN storage solutions. However, over the course of these two videos, we will be discussing Expedient's host-to-host -host virtual server replication solution, which is a component of a larger suite of disaster recovery as a service products we offer for our customers. Before we dive into Expedient's host-to-host -host replication product, let's first take a few minutes to define the terms recovery point objective and recovery time objective. A simple way to look at a recovery point objective is to think of it as the maximum amount of data that an organization is willing or able to lose. Another way to look at a recovery point objective or an RPO is how frequently data is being replicated to a DR platform. A recovery time objective or an RTO is the amount of time it will take for applications and data to be presented back to end users after a disaster has taken place. Or simply put, the RTO is the amount of time that end users or customers will have to wait to get back into the applications to do their work or to start placing orders. This can be a little confusing, so let's put a timeline up showing a slice of a typical production day starting at 6 a.m. and going through 2 p.m. Let's assume that a disaster takes place involving the production IT infrastructure at 10 a.m. At that point, the business stakeholders issue a disaster declaration and the IT team starts working through their DR runbook. Looking backward from the disaster declaration, the amount of data that is lost defined as the time between the last data replication and the time of the DR event is considered to be the RPO. Going forward from the disaster declaration, the amount of time it takes for systems, data, and applications to be presented to end users or customers is the RTO. Keeping these RPO and RTO definitions in mind, let's get into the details of Expedient's host-to-host -host replication product. In years past, recovery point and recovery time objectives were measured in weeks or even months. Often these RTOs and RPOs were unacceptable for many business applications. These legacy DR plans were really built around backup technologies that were never intended or designed to be true disaster recovery solutions. Many companies and IT leaders paid a heavy price because they relied on a backup product to be their Band-Aid DR solution. While technology has advanced significantly over the years, many DR solutions still calculate RTO and RPO times in days or even weeks, putting the organization and its IT employees at serious risk. With this in mind, Expedient's host-to-host -host virtual server replication solution is able to meet recovery point and recovery time objectives measured in seconds and minutes, not in days or weeks. Let's take a look at some key points related to Expedient's host-to-host -host replication solution. First, Expedient's solution is software-based. Unlike many other DR solutions that rely on like hardware in both the production and DR sites, Expedient's host-to-host -host replication is hardware agnostic and can be used on virtually any hardware platform that runs a supported hypervisor. Next, it's very important to point out that this is a fully managed service from Expedient. We provide the platform and software based on our experience as an industry leader, and our Operations Support Center staff provides around-the-clock support. As we mentioned earlier, Expedient's host-to-host -host replication solution provides very low RPO and RTO times. Of course, if we are replicating to or from a far-end customer environment, RTO and RPO times are going to be dependent upon the customer's platform. However, in many cases, RTOs are often sub one hour and RPO times are still sub 30 seconds. Expedient doesn't want to define a disaster for our customers. 
Every customer has a different tolerance for outages and a different definition of a disaster. Our host-to-host -host product isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Instead, it can be used in conjunction with existing disaster recovery plans or as a foundation for an entirely new disaster recovery plan. As such, our customers determine what constitutes a disaster for their environment, and they can then log into the platform to initiate the failover of servers and applications from the production site to the disaster recovery environment on their own if they wish. Alternatively, our customers can declare a disaster and reach out to Expedient's 24 by 7 Operations Support Center if they wish to have our team perform the actual failover for them. Next, please keep in mind when utilizing Expedient's host-to-host -host product, you don't necessarily need to clearly define production and DR sites. It's possible that one group of production applications can live in one site, another group of production applications can live in a second site, then, utilizing bi-directional replication, both groups of applications can participate in a disaster recovery plan under the same host-to-host -host deployment. Lastly, it's important to remember that Expedient's host-to-host -host product was originally designed to provide a turnkey DR solution, which can make use of our customers' existing virtual platforms that have yet to fully depreciate. While we often design solutions with our customers that take advantage of host-to-host -host replication between Expedient virtual platforms, the most common deployment scenario is between our customer's existing environment and Expedient's fully hosted solution. Replicating between a customer environment and Expedient's platform can be used as a migration strategy, or it may help our customers to take full advantage of their existing hardware until the next scheduled refresh when the customer may choose to forego the purchase of new hardware altogether. Let's take a minute to show some of the technical elements and deployment scenarios on a simple network drawing. We will start by describing the basic virtual platform in a production site. Here we have a storage platform and physical host servers connected by a networking layer. In our example, the production environment is running VMware's vSphere, which means there is a vCenter server and each host will have an ESXi hypervisor. On top of the virtual platform, we will assume that the environment is running multiple production virtual machines and that the business requires two of these machines to participate in a new disaster recovery plan. To set up the environment for replication, the first thing we need to do is install a disaster recovery management server that ties into the production site vCenter. After deploying the management services, we also need to deploy replication appliances on each host. These replication appliances are lightweight virtual machines that take up a minimal amount of resources. They are used for the replication of newly written change data from the production virtual machines to the DR environment. Next up, we need to configure a disaster recovery site. The DR site will consist of the same virtual platform elements, SAN storage, host hardware, vCenter, and ESXi hypervisors. Additionally, the disaster recovery environment will also have a DR management server and replication appliances. Lastly, of course, we need some form of network communication between production and disaster recovery sites. It is possible to make use of point-to-point -point circuits for this connectivity. However, most Expedient customers use public internet and site-to-site -site tunnels. This provides a reliable, cost-effective, and secure solution. Additionally, once the initial seeding of the environment has taken place, the replication of virtual machine change data over the network doesn't require a large amount of bandwidth. In many cases, Expedient's host-to-host -host replication customers can utilize their existing internet bandwidth for replication tasks. Once the basic setup of the environment is in place and communication is established, replication of virtual machines can take place. Of course, it may take a little time for the original data sync between environments to complete. However, once the production data is seeded in the disaster recovery site, all future changes will be replicated in almost real time. But there is an added feature of the host-to-host -host product that many Expedient customers find very attractive. Up to this point, we have been treating both environments as separate. Production is production, and disaster recovery is disaster recovery. However, your business can take advantage of a hybrid solution where both sites contain production applications. In this hybrid mode production design, we already have production machines and applications running in the data center on the left, represented as blue VMs. If you choose, you could also stand up production virtual machines in the data center on the right. 
In this case, a production machine is represented as a green VM. Because all of the disaster recovery components are already in place in both sites, it is a fairly simple process to enable replication for production applications in the second site as well. This bi-directional replication of virtual machines will enable customers to take advantage of a true hybrid cloud deployment. This concludes part one of our two-part video series on Expedient's host-to-host -host replication product set. Please join us for part two of this video series to see a short demonstration of the product in action. If you have further questions on this video, or if you wish to speak to us about your specific business needs, please contact us at www.expedient.com or phone 877-570-7827. Thank you.